Hi, uh, I'm Richard. Uh, I'm Jodian. And together you are a creative team. Richard Jodian. <laughs> who's, the, who's the copywriter and who's the art director? Uh, so I'm, I'm the copywriter. Yeah, I'm the art director. Yeah. We kind of do a bit of both. It's not completely cut and dry. But if you want to blame someone for yeah. words, <laughs> yeah. he pictures me. Yeah. Fair dues. So talk us through where you guys met. Uh, we met at Watford advertising course. Um, we both came from that different sort of, I would do different degree, you did English, yeah, yeah, yeah. do graphics. And uh, yeah, we met at Watford course. Um, and yeah, that was in September. Yeah, September last year, so it's not even been a year yet. Um, but uh, no, it's cool. So you partnered up on that course? Exactly, yeah. We had, we had an idea, we both came in as solo creatives. I think there's like 17 in a class, all came in solo, and everyone paired up there. Cool. So, since graduating? Well, yeah, sort of. So Actually, haven't quite graduated yet. Okay. Well, <laughs> well we can, because it's not a proper, like, um, you don't really get, it's not about the qualification you get, it's That's about just getting a job. So, we're actually, the course is still going on. We left the course because we got offered a couple of placements. Mm. So, how did you, uh, how did you first start out? How did you kind of approach the market in terms of getting work? Um, one of the things we did uh, that probably stood us in really good stead was was getting out as soon as possible and doing book crits. So, uh, so like pestering people with emails, like they, they get, yeah. you get like a, it's a folder from nabs with everyone's email on it. Right. Okay. And it's great. You, you can donate a couple of quid and then you get it, and you can just email people and just say, oh, like, yeah. um, are these creative directors, executive, everyone, everyone a bit people, of a mix, like, yeah, like producers, uh, creatives, creative directors. Somebody, like, it's, it's nice, obviously, if you if you've seen their ad that you like, so you can talk to them about it and say, I really like your ad. It was, you know, really inspiring. Um, would love to make something like that, and then you email them, and you've almost you're almost buttering them up a bit because it's nice to see everyone has to be complimented. And then they kind of feel, some of them don't reply, some of them do, but most of the time people feel for you because they were in that position once upon a time. But aside from that, we were kind of already quite well connected with the Watford course. The, the, the like, alumni there, there's people in it like yeah, pretty exactly. much every single agency in London. Uh, so because of that network, um, it does help. <laughs> yeah, we could just kind of get in anywhere, just for, you know, for a book crit. Because uh, you just say, we were in the Watford course and... Yeah, send them an email and yeah. they're quite happy to see us, so it worked out, you know, yeah, that was quite easy. Okay, so um, who did you meet on a book, on a book crit basis? Uh, loads What's, and loads of people. Yeah, it's I mean, it's funny, uh, talking about uh, uh, yeah, our first placement, we got that, not from a book crit, but just from a, a random thing on Twitter, we won a competition. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was from Mother, and they had uh, sent out a how many big ideas can you put on a napkin and we kind of didn't really think we stood a chance and yeah we just wrote out tons of stuff and yeah. picked out a few they liked and came and asked us to come in and then we saw saw Caroline Pay there and Ollie Beale and Alex Holder and they uh, they've been really great with us and sort of mentoring us and can we can keep in quite nice contact with them and sort of mm -hmm. if we have like, you know, oh, I've got a new idea, what do you think? And like, you know, that's really nice to have. Yeah. I mean, this is just forming a relationship really. Yeah, it's funny how it worked out because we were only, I mean, it was probably mid-February when we actually applied for it. Yeah. yeah. So we'd only kind of really been together for six weeks. I mean, in the beginning, in the first term in Watford, you'll pair up with lots of different people, you know, for a day at a time or a week at a time. Uh, and it was exactly. only really around Christmas time we actually teamed up, so. Yeah. We got really lucky there, and to be honest, we got, we got the placement kind of set up for a few months later before we were actually kind of ready to do it. Yeah. Which is why we waited, you know, it's been, uh, we just started now, like, week or two ago yeah. um, and the better for it actually yeah. so when, when you were let's just go back a bit when you were doing book crits yeah. um, were you typically seen by senior teams or were you seen by creative directors it's harder to get seen by creative directors um, but um, yeah again it was um, it was a real mix I mean it was a lot harder to see by creative directors I don't mm. think we've actually had we had no, we saw Robin and Tom at Conor Yeah. But well, that's because we'd already seen them at Watford, so we yeah. already kind of had that. So there, I mean, like, it's, it, well, yeah, no, it was a lot harder. We did try and get a few, hold a few people, and yeah. they, they, they sort of said, go see another team and things. So, yeah. no, we haven't actually had that much one-on-one -on -one with great directors. Our, our first two were with, like, relatively, um, and one of them was quite a senior team, and the other one was, uh, was a, a really young team, weren't they? Like, exactly. A couple of years out of college, Stefan and Rory. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so they they were good to do 
at the beginning because these guys are really generous with their time, really willing to help us. Yeah. Um, so obviously not the best idea to go with like loads of sort of half baked ideas to some. We definitely like going to see creative director. No, I don't think absolutely so. not. Yeah. So obviously, uh, creative is subjective. So what one creative yeah. team will like about your portfolio, another creative team won't like. So yeah. from the feedback you were given either about the order in which your work is in, the, the kind of diversity of an idea. Mm. Did, how beneficial did you find it versus kind of how confusing did you find it? Well, we, were, we were kind of put together a chart that had sort of yeah, hits and crosses where it met and you kind of kind of worked out who liked what and you'd alter your book accordingly. So mm. if you're going to go back to someone they team and love that, and nobody else likes it, you put that back in, or you'd work on that for them. It depends again where you want to work. Um, I know that sounds like you would <laughs> to say we, where we should choose where we want to work, but it really does make a difference to like people there who inspire you, makes you want to go back and show them the work and you want to work there, but it's, it's less about, I don't know, it's like a mixture of things, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely confusing getting conflicting messages, but yeah. to be honest, that's part of part and parcel of advertising, you get that. Yeah. even from one person uh, creating the work it can be really really consistent so it's just part of it and I think um, we, we we got to a stage actually where we were tailoring our book and, and taking certain bits out when we knew we were going to see certain people because we kind of had an idea by yeah. them like what they would like in a book so talk us through the agencies that you have picked up placement experience at so we've had a we had a well since the end of um, January, uh, early February, we've been at, I think we went to 12 different agencies for the oh, weekly nice. agency, yeah. but that was through the course, and that's with sort of 15 other people, yeah. so it's less of sort of an official placement, but more like a experience. Sort yeah, of like a snapshot of an snapshot, agency, yeah. so we've got like a feel for those Quite a few different agencies, yeah. and then we've uh, had a, our first official placement was about six, seven weeks ago at B&B, um, and that was for a month. And Working with Trevor BT. We're, yeah, we, yeah. Well, we, we, we briefly saw him. Um, we we spent quite a lot of time with uh, Bill Bungay. He was he was great. He really sort of was really helpful with us and spent quite a lot of time considering. So it was great. Mm. That was really helpful. Cool. And where else since B and B? We've been a mother since for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So that's it. Just our second placement so far. Hopefully, uh, we won't have to do too many more. <laughs> there's 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 a perception that um, placement teams don't get paid much um, how do you go about negotiating pay we don't uh, no negotiate yeah. it's, it's what it is you're told this so they have a set they have a set according to yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're actually quite fortunate because uh, both days have been yeah, paid pretty good. well and do they pay weekly rather than uh, it depends there's been a mix yeah, there's been a mix. yeah. okay okay um, there's also perception with teams that are looking to kind of really prove themselves that they are the first in and the last out and they're always working long hours how have you found um, how have you found working life? I think we, we've just kind of had that sort of sort of principle first we're like this is exactly what we want to do and we realised we burnt out really quickly and to the point of that it was actually it was a waste of time because we were we weren't coming up with good ideas and things. We've tried to since since we since we've been doing that, we've tried to keep a bit more of a structure and we try to sort of we get in we get in quite early and we and we leave at a reasonable time because we feel like you need that, otherwise you're just a waste of space. It's worth saying you're absolutely like not expected to work ridiculous hours. No, not at all. all places we started they've said um, like nine to six. We kind of you know, we work harder than that. Just like, out of choice, you know, it's, yeah. it's something you do you can't really switch off from. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you could. I mean, it sounds bad, but you could work a small amount of time as long as you produce the good ideas. I mean, yeah, that's, that comes down to it. Like, it, it is, as much as it is about quantity, it's, it's more. It's obviously more about quality. And I mean, you know, when we were students, we were we were sort of churning as much as possible. And now we have to self-edit a bit more. And mm-hmm. so it's, it can become a time where you're in, you kind of. I mean, the more you do stuff, the more you get sort of people giving you feedback. You start to get a gauge of whether you believe in your ideas a little bit or, uh, you know, you get, get a feeling about certain things. I did, at the beginning, when we started as students, I thought, I'm never going to get that feeling, I have no idea, I can't gauge what's, what's good or what's not, and people say it's so subjective, people say this is good, this is crap, and then, you know, it's, it, now it's so... Yeah. You, you never know, really. You I mean, never... We're still throwing ideas yeah. that we kind of... We kind of, yeah. But you do have a little bit more. 
bit. Yeah. But um, no, generally, I mean, I wouldn't I mean that perception that placement teams get, you know, uh, exploited. That has certainly not been our experience so far. So you haven't felt like you've been used to generate as many ideas as you can and then you no. kind of get moved on? No, I mean, that's what we want to do. We want to, want to um, generate as many ideas as possible. I mean, we take placements basically as, as uh, a set period of time, whether it's four weeks of B&B or two months now, mother, to try and impress. So as many ideas as we can do, I mean, it's not... I mean, if we don't come up with good ideas, then we don't expect anything. It's all yeah. about how good ideas are and... If ideas are great, then, then uh, it's expected. So with the two agencies that you've gained placement experience at, um, you've been one of how many placement teams there? Uh, we're the only placement team at BNB. And uh, I think there's... We're one of two at the moment and another, but that's a weird situation, just because there's a bit of overlap, um, I don't think because of particular pitch, I mean, but I, I'm pretty sure they're normally the only thing. Yeah, I think, I think they're trying to... People, I think, in terms of placement, well, they're trying to make... Things are more, more fair and like make it seem that actually give the people a real good chance. So, so knowing that you're going to be there for a period of time and then you're out and then another team come in, um, how do you get the opportunity to uh, really kind of prove yourselves to the point that they would take you more seriously than a placement team and look at you as okay, we want to keep these guys full time? How do you break down that barrier of just being seen as a placement team? I think it just comes down to the work. I mean, I, I certainly don't view us as a placement team. I think we're a team there. We've got an opportunity there to, to prove ourselves. If our work's good enough, then they won't want to let us go. That's what it all comes down to. If you crack a few good briefs, then you know, that can kind of make your career. I mean, it's, we did feel that there was some times where you, know, you may get put on a brief that's not, not the most, I don't know, necessarily the most creative, but it's something you really want to do. Uh, obviously, everything you do, you treat as like the best opportunity possible. Um, but if, for example, you did it, you, you wanted to prove yourself more, you, it's always good to do extra stuff, like stuff you haven't been set, and just try it and yeah. try get yourself in front of someone and putting yourself out there. We we try to do that as much as possible um, at B and B, and we've you know we're it's just one of those you just got to try you know do expensive stuff all the time. I think that's got a tactical that. stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. thing where. Um, like Beckham retired and we tried to write an ad for that yeah. <laughs> didn't come off but just keep on trying to push for those little things I mean there's been lots of great tactical stuff recently the Mars stuff for Alex folks and which is really nice so we tried to kind of yeah tried to take just... advantage of those opportunities yeah so it's like when we, when the moment we felt like we weren't doing anything which was very rarely we would sort of like what's coming up you know I mean, new baby whatever you know to try and make something out yeah because yeah. a lot of a lot of um junior creatives are very conscious of how long they spend on the placement circuit. Um, yeah. I've met people before that have been lucky enough to get full-time jobs after two months, and I've met creative teams that have been on placements for two years, yeah. uh, and uh, they kind of no further ahead in their portfolio or in their career than a team yeah. um, mm-hmm. two months. So what what... Do you have a plan? And if so, what's your plan to get off of the placement circuit and into a full-time job? We're, we're, we're always thinking of the next thing we can do in terms of how can we get sort of the big, the big, the big dog's attention. So like, even now, when we're mother, we want to get as much sort of exposure as possible because you know, that's what the plan is, is just yeah. to get known and make sure, oh, where's, that, where's that team gone, you know, when they need them? And um, that's what we want to be. But we're always thinking, so we did a, we did a map tube map um, of all the different London agencies send it out to every single agency and that was great because we got we got we got some great sort of responses from that and then that, that got us actually crit with actually that's what we got us crit with um, Stu and um, Stu and Ben and Creature and that was you know their partners of you know really cool cool agency. I was going to talk about that actually yeah. because they they come out straight out of uni they had two weeks a mother and then lined up at BBA straight after they didn't get to the because uh-huh. they smashed it so well but um uh, mother, they did this uh, Abba to Zappa thing for the Observer uh, magazine. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it is possible. Um, and I think, like, like you say, like it can be two months, it can be two years, and, and it is a lot. Really, a lot of people say it is down to luck, and we kind of get that because it's yeah. like you, you're, if you're, you're the right place at the right time, you get put on the right brief, yeah. and you'll get put, you'll have you'll have more opportunities, and you know that that I can understand that. But um, and it is fucking unlucky if you don't uh, get the, the right place at the right time. But you know, if you still show that you're willing to work, then 
think, I don't know, we, we, we guess we're still new to this. And, and that's something we take with our approach as well. Yeah. So uh, even though, as you rightly said, we are trying to absolutely uh, crack it and, and convert placement to a job, um, we're conscious as well that it is a bit of a gamble. So we're lining up other yeah. places all the time. Yeah. The thing is, with, with the wage that you get, I mean, especially the places we've been so far, it is a livable, livable wage. Um, so if we if we end up doing this for like a year, two years, yeah. we're kind of prepared for that because um, we know that sometimes it can be like that way. Yeah. So you, you proactively approach um, agencies and ask for, and it's, I guess it's a bit of a it's, it's a bit of a numbers game. Whoever comes back comes back, and you're open minded in terms of accepting yeah. it, and they kind of dictate how long for and, and yeah. what you work on. Yeah, I mean we're we're in quite a good position because we've still got. Uh, a few places kind of lined up, um, but we're always just trying to yeah, trying to think of the next because you know you never, you never know. So I mean, ideally, it'd be great to get a job with mother, but you know it, mm. you never know. So we want to keep pushing and seeing what else is out. And still, we're still trying to be um, trying to be a little bit selective uh, because we you know we've got off to a good start and it does help once you've been to some when you've got some and it sounds weird but once you've got someone good as a placement on your CV. Yeah, it or, opens know, up other doors it for does. people. Absolutely. Like if they got in there, they must be good. good enough. Yeah. And, and I mean that's I guess that's an important thing to say is that like it, people say it doesn't matter necessarily where you you go on place more. It doesn't necessarily matter what the first job you get, but it depends it depends what you want, depends where where you want to go. But at the same time, it does seem to help. It does seem to be easy to to be able to say, hey, you know, we got into mother. Can we have this or hey, we got into this? But yeah, it's a nice stamp it's of a, approval. It is, say, yeah. Well, if those guys like them, it must be something. Even if yeah. they hate your butt, they'll be like, well, it must be something. Like yeah. That. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's kind of like, that's been a, lot, been a lot of help. What, yeah. what, what do you, what have you learned in this short period of time that you didn't know when you were studying together? What have you learned about the market or what advice would you give to people who are where you were a few months back? Um, one thing that we've just been kind of talking about this week. Uh, is the importance of like selling your work. Um, so yeah. when you show an idea, just like writing a sentence, isn't isn't likely to wow anyone. You, you need a bit of uh, yeah. need a, I don't know, need a bit of something. So yeah. we we went to a view today and we brought along a picture that we'd uh, quickly mapped up. Uh, Jonah quickly mapped up uh, an MP3 recording that we'd done that morning and um, a video reference. Yeah, reference. And like before, I have to say, we never even, even thought about doing any of that. Like if we were pitching an idea or kind of anything, we would have, we would have just probably shown the idea on a A4 piece of paper, done a little sketch or something to hopefully give it a bit of a thing. But even then, it's like we'd never even thought about it. But it's mm-hmm. amazing how even to the creative directors, if you have a bit of stimulus, it makes a big difference. It makes a massive difference. It's, it's been like it's been great that like people look at it and go, I see what you're trying to do there. And it's like mm-hmm. um, it's almost it's better than almost you doing it completely yourself, and mapping up and making it look amazing. Than giving someone a, sort of a snippet and then saying this one could be like it could be better and then they go oh, okay like that but it's like it's great we didn't we never really thought like that we and that was really been really helpful that's definitely one part of it the other part as well is um, is getting used to being in an agency because there's so much that goes on uh, when you put in port- together a portfolio there's kind of no limits you can just if it's a good idea go with it. Um, yeah. And we're in an agency. There's there's so much going on. There's a brief. There's planners. There's telling you. They're telling you the exact way in. Um, budgets. Yeah, budget. <laughs> says the brand issue itself. Like what the brand can say with their tone of voice. Was there were there elements that your course at Watford didn't teach you that you wish you would have kind of knew more about when you started working in the commercial environment. I wouldn't necessarily say that. No. I think I mean Watford's a really short course. It's only a year, and we didn't even do a year there actually, because uh, we left early. But it's um, in terms of, of giving us the absolutely like. Ground at, the end, at the end of the day, it is it, whatever anybody says it is purely about the idea. If you've got good ideas and you've got good strategies and you've got yeah. good things, and you, you, people will notice you. I mean, this stuff that we've learned along the way. I think we were we didn't need to learn it then and we need to learn now because we're sort of putting the deep end but yeah. we, what we learned was more important and it's Absolutely. kind of grounded us to get to where we, well, hopefully where we want to one day but yeah yeah I think it's just a part of being an agency and getting used to that and every agency is different as well like we've already found a big difference yeah. uh, in, 
And I think like we learned a complete sort of like we're not we're not precious about ideas at all. Um, yeah. We, we you know yeah. we would churn out ideas and we'd like, love these and you know we'd get Tony at normal three. You wouldn't if you didn't like that idea, you know he'd tell you about it. And we wouldn't even look at it. <laughs> and we wouldn't even look at it or you know it yeah. was great and you know we they, need yeah, that. You, you really need that. You really need that brutal sort of. What's the point again? Yeah, maybe some, you know, yeah. thing if it's just not a good idea, and it's, and we look, we now have, you know, when we have really sort of some grilling reviews or whatever it may be. Um, it can take you a bit, take you a pinch of size, nothing because it's it's, yeah. it's not personal. It's not personal. No, exactly. No, and there's always more ideas to come. So if yeah. you don't like that, we'll come back with some more ideas. And it's funny as well. You get people actually, you know, they are really brutal and they say like, look, sorry, I don't like, like it. Yeah. And then they say sorry, and it's like. What are you saying sorry for? We're yeah. like, so yeah. used to this. Like, so used to it. But... <laughs> yeah, still is polite though. To, to, no, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Where, so where do you guys want to go in your career? What's the plan? Where do you, where, what are you kind of working towards? If, if we didn't get a job at Mother, um, we'd have to go somewhere like Creature that's um, sort, of on, sort of smaller and more maybe on its Definitely way up. Definitely on the other. Um, that's because, really like, we'd love to, yeah, yeah, really love to be so, yeah, and part of a something on yeah on the way up that's uh, trying to prove themselves and while we're young especially we want to give it our all mm-hmm. not, not saying we wouldn't when we're older but you know men have the energy if we're uh, yeah. thing. but um, and if and if not we'll, then we'd love to go to BBH or Wine Kennedy I mean there are I think yeah, I mean, everyone's got their kids, yeah they've got, they've got some yeah. agencies there's, there's, um, yeah, there's plenty of really great agencies so that would be good to work in London yeah um, I mean at the moment that's that's the first thing. I mean, that it's kind of like we've got that our sights firmly fixed on that short-term goal, but we also have a way to keep it back our minds. It's not the future. Gonna, if it doesn't work out, it's not going to be able to do that. We so have a bit, plan B, a plan C. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And I think you know, after uh, yeah, we just want to get our first job, and then and then it's all about getting some great work out. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much.